Hello everyone. We will continue the topic SC63 translation export, or we can say how we can save that translation into the transport request. And in the previous video, we did that translation. We choose we have chosen one data element, we have chosen one message. After that, I went to this particular transaction code and I showed you how you can save that translation into a transport request. Now we will further explore few more features of this particular transaction code. Suppose I will go for the transaction code SLXT. System SC63 translation export. Now we are we have only done the translation in one single language. So from this particular F4 help, I have chosen that particular target language that was the German. Suppose in real projects, yes, you might have translation into multiple languages. You might have translation into all the existing languages. Then in that case, how you can do? You can simply choose the radio button, multiple selection. Now, whenever you will choose multiple selection, have you seen this particular, this particular value changed? Suppose if I'm going for this individual language, it is asking me to pass the individual language. If you are going for multiple selection, you can see SEL is coming. Now, how you can choose the multiple languages? Simply go to F4 help. Suppose you want to choose German, double click. Suppose you want to choose Spanish, double click. Suppose you want to go for Indonesian, double click. If I will save, you can see we have the selected language, three languages three is coming. So this is the way how you can choose the multiple languages. Anyways, if you are going for all existing languages, so it is simply, simply taking it as all. So it is totally your wish or depends upon the requirement. You are going for individual language or you are going for multiple languages or you are going for all existing languages. Now we will further move, move forward. Now in the previous video, what we did, we have not given the transport request. We have asked the system to generate the transport request. Many times what we will do, we will create a transport request through SC09 and we will pass here. So now I will show you how you can do that particular part. So from the F4 help, I will choose the single language because anyways, we have only German and English in the system, which are installed languages. So I have chosen the German language. Now, now I will not create the new transport request. I will pass the existing transport request. Now, now I will create a transport request through SC09. Now I will simply, simply go for this create button. I will go for workbench request. I will go for enter. I will give some description to the request. Suppose I will say to store the language, multiple languages text. Or you will say, I will write to store the translation text. I will go for save and system generated this particular request number. Now, now the important part here. If I will go to F4 help, system will only, only show me the transport request, which is created through this particular transaction code SLXT. Whenever in the previous video, I used SLXT and this particular checkbox was tick. That particular checkbox was tick. Create new request. At that time, this transaction code itself generated that transport request. 
So now if you are going for this, now you are not going for creation of new request. If you will simply go to F for help, system will only only show you that transport request which are generated through this particular SLXT transaction code. Now we have not generated or we have not created that transport request through SLXT. We have created that transport request through SC09. Then in that case, you need to choose this particular checkbox. Whenever you will choose this particular checkbox, it is saying grant non SLXT request. It means the request which has not generated to this particular transaction code. Now, whenever you will go to F for help, now it will show you all that transport request. Have you seen now this request is coming? Previously, this request was not coming. It is only only showing you that transport request, which is generated through SLXT transaction code. And at that time also, we got five to six requests because I did the practice. So at that time, so many requests generated. Now I will choose this particular transport request. Now, now whatever that translation will be there, it will save into this transport request. Now I will come on to this Delta transport Delta. Suppose I'm activating the Delta. You all know what is the Delta. Suppose I'm simply saying, I already saved the translated object till 5 p.m. Okay. After that, there is no need. You simply saved the translated object till 5 p.m. into a transport request. You release that transport and that objects move to quality and production. Suppose after 5 p.m. you did some translations. Then at that time, there is no need to go for the previous translation. Then at that time, you can simply, simply put that data, date and time. Suppose what was the date and after the 5 p.m., whatever is the objects you translated, they should go for the transport request. Suppose simple example. In the previous video, I only, only put that date 19th. Then what happened? For the 19th date, we got all, we got the four objects. We did the translation for the two objects, but SAP considered everything for that particular date. Now, if you want those objects only, which was created in that particular time, then in that case, you can go for Delta transport. You can activate the Delta transport. Now people will say it is in the read only mode. How I can go for Delta? You can simply, simply select here. Click on to this button. Now I will go for define manually because we want to define manually the Delta time. Now I will choose 19th only. Now I will put that time. If you remember, yes, before I'll say three to four hours around six or six thirty in the evening, I did that translation. So I will choose the Delta time as 1830 means 630. So it will only only take those translation which has done on 19th from 19th 630 onwards, 630 or 630 onwards. I will go for OK. Now I will simply, simply go for execute. Okay, I will just 903706 non, okay. Now I gave this unclassified task. That's why it is saying it is invalid. I will give this particular task, this particular request, main request. Sorry, it was my mistake. I need to choose this. It is not taking unclassified requests. Okay. Now I will go for okay. Now you can see this is the request number. Yes, this is the request number. Yes. Now only two objects recorded. Now if I will simply, simply refresh. 
if I will expand, you can see we have the two, this we have one is payment mode data element and one is the message because we put that data time. So this is the way how you can go or how you can save that translations into the related to that transfer request. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we elaborated or we expanded the more features of this particular transaction code. If you have single language, you can simply pass the single target language. If you are going for multiple selection, I showed you whenever you will choose this, it will change and you can choose the multiple languages. If you are going for all languages, you can choose that also. After that, I have not created, I have not asked the system to create a new transport request through this particular transaction code. I have asked system that now we will pass that transport request. So we created that transport request through SC09. If you will not select this particular checkbox, system will only show you the request which is created through this particular SLXT and you want to save into those requests only. But if you want to use the non-SLXT request, means you created separately through SC09, then you need to select that checkbox and you can pass that transport request. Now, whatever that transport request you are specifying, if it is unclassified, do not pass the unclassified, pass the main request itself. After that, I showed you the significance of Delta. Delta is very useful because it is not the case that every time we need to go for the translation of all the objects of that particular date. We are going for saving that translation into transport request for all the objects of that particular date. It might be the case we already transported the few objects. At that time, use that data feature, specify the date and time. So it will take only those objects which are created from that particular date, time onwards. Then I showed you, yes, the output. And in this particular transport request, we have that translated object. So this is all about that translation, how you can save that translation into the transport request. So that's it in this video. Thank you.